so yeah i really like this video to be interactive i would like to see your own or would like to know what you do differently if at all you do any other thing differently i would like to know in the comment section what you do differently or if i omitted any other step or any step you feel like i omitted just let me know in the comment section below but for me this is what i do for now and this is the step i've been taking for a long time now so yeah before i move over uh, to the main tutorial i would like to i like you guys to check my, check out our website um the link will be in the description box below it's so www.excrisysignature.com to get the hair product i use here and also other hair products i usually use on my channel and we also sell like hairs luxury hairs that are affordable you can also check that on our website as well all right um back to the main tutorial um here are the products i used to revamp so yeah for revamping just revamping alone we use just few products but for treatment we use like four different other products so i don't use all the products on all hair type so i just do like few products on different hairs it all depends on the texture of the hair the quality of the hair and also how damaged the hair is the first thing i like to do is to wash the hair to wash the wig remove all the dirt and also washing for washing i love to use this a uh, shampoo because it lathers a lot so this is the shampoo i like to use i will also use this shampoo here in my salon to wash client hair so i also like to use the trust me shampoo and conditioner too i really really love the shampoo and the conditioner it lathers a lot and then the conditioner is absolutely good for treatment i like to use mayonnaise and uh, this is the mayonnaise i usually get um this big size because it lasts for a long time since it's a salon i get mayonnaise mayonnaise are actually good um, they add shine to the hair and also straighten hairs and the strands of the hairs. They straighten the strands of the hair. I also like to use Max Sweet Almond Oil Therapy. It contains sweet almond oil, prevents hair loss and also breakage. And it also gives the hair like a luscious, healthy and attractive appearance. So that's why I like to add this also to the hair treatments I use. I'm feeling vibes on vibes. Moving on, I like to add this hair treatment milk. It regenerates and hydrates Crowley's keratin milk protein. It also rebuilds hair natural texture, refill the outer damage layer of the hair. So that's why I like to add this to the treatment. So next, I like to add this silicone mix. So for this silicone mix, I don't use it for all hair type. So this silicone mix, I don't usually use it for like bone straight. So the silicone mix actually restore the health, the healthy or the health and also add shine and soften the dryness of any damaged hair. It also like strengthen the weak weakening part of the hair like it straightening the hair so yeah that's why i like to use this moving on this is the hair we're going to be using and i already washed the hair and dried the hair before my client decided to change her mind that initially she wanted like a revamp then she changed her mind that she wants us to retreat or treat the hair because she felt like the hair was damaged so see how dry the hair looks it looks so dry and it's so strong it's not soft so we are going to like restore all those softness and everything back to the hair it's also going to feel like um new but not new all right i mixed all four products in here just mixing everything before the application and i took like little quantities from each of the product just little little quantity from each of the product to mix here and then since the hair is dry i'm just going to use this spray bottle uh just have water in here like inside the spray bottle i'm just going to spray water around the hair just to add moisture or to make it damp a little bit so that all the products i apply or so that it can absorb all the products i apply or i'm about to apply so yeah for revamp this is what i just do i just wash and condition the hair after washing just go ahead to apply conditioner and then allow it to just stay for a while 
like let's say 30 minutes or an hour before i go ahead to rinse out the conditioner and then start styling the hair or i like to dry first and one thing i like to do most times is to air dry it and not sun dry why sometimes if my clients actually want the hair like almost immediately so i sun dry or i even use like um heat like hand dryer or wall dryer to dry the hair all right after spraying water generously around the hair or the wig i'm just going to go ahead to start gradually you know in portions different portions like portion by portion to start. gradually we just start um applying the product in portions like portion by portion this is because i want all the i want like all the parts of the hair to absorb the product and i'm using my hands to do so the reason why i'm applying it gradually is because i want equal amounts of the product on all parts of the wig or the hair so yeah we'll just continue until i am done applying or hello everyone welcome back again to the channel thank you so much for tuning into today's video how are you doing today how is everybody doing today so yeah recently i asked a question on my community and you guys were requesting that i film a revamping or a revamp or hair treatment video first before any other video so uh, yeah this video actually took me time because i've been busy like um the whole of last week i was totally busy so i couldn't film uh if you are new here just go ahead to subscribe um share this video to friends and family because i know this video is very helpful because i took my time to explain every single step and all the products so share the video to friends and family leave a comment subscribe if you haven't and give the video a big thumbs up it actually encourages us to or it will encourage us to keep uploading like quality content or informative content like this And once I'm done applying, we'll just go ahead to put the hair in a foil paper. And after wrapping it around the foil paper, we'll just go ahead to put it in this nylon bag. But you can do a Ziploc bag, preferable, and if you have one. This is so that it can lock in air uh, and for us to be able to do like the steaming. So we're going to kind of steam the hair a little bit, not a serious steam. All right, next, I'm just going to go ahead to put in the hair into this hot water so remember i wrapped it with foil paper and then a leader so yeah so i'm just going to take it like that into the hot water to kind of steam it so we'll just put it into the hot water like so and after putting it we'll just go ahead to use like a towel to cover it i don't know why that step or that part of the video i could not find it but we covered it with like a towel just so that the, um, the heat will bounce back to the hair inside so after doing this i'm just going to let the hair sit here for like three hours or more so most times i like to do this like in the night so that i just leave it here like this and then the salon then come back the next day to wash or rinse the hair this step actually helps the whole like it helps in the absorption of the product it also helps in reducing breakage and dry nature of the hair so you know when the products you know all this you know all the advantages of all the products i actually incorpor incorporated into the hair so absorbing the hair absorbing it like i'm just allowing i'm just going to allow the hair to absorb it for a long time so all the benefits of the product are just going to be absorbed as well and it's also going to soften the hair uh, by creating like a humid environment for the product to go in it also help the hair shine and also keep the hair healthy and it also prevents the hair from being or looking dry all right after steaming i'm just going to like i said before i'm going to allow the hair to stay for like to stay overnight the next day i'm just going to go ahead to rinse it and i'm going to be rinsing it with lukewarm water or temperature room temperature water i'm just going to rinse it 
and the raising I, i'm not going to be doing so much just rinse a little bit just so that i don't rinse off all the products i've applied on the hair and then next is um styling i'm just going to go ahead to style the hair and since it's a wavy hair so styling of the hair depends on the texture of the hair or the style of the hair or depends on what the client wants because most clients might come with the idea of you know changing their hair from being coily to wavy or be from being coily to straight so yeah for this it's a wavy hair i will want to achieve coils because our clients actually asked us to get or create coils on the hair and she wants the coils to be able to last for a long time so we are going to be doing the rulers coiling so we are going to be coiling the hair and we're not going to be adding heat to it so we're going to be doing the rulers coiling and to coil i'm going to be using this usual or the normal rulers that we use to coil hairs in the salon that's what we're going to be using to coil the hair and since the hair is already damp there's no point adding water or adding any other product on the hair so um after coiling we're just going to be going to we're just going to secure the hair or to secure the rulers with bobby pins you can go ahead to use rubber bands if you want but for us we like to use bobby pins because it's so easy to take off Alright, after rolling, I'm just going to allow the hair to dry. Sometimes it takes like two days, a day, three days, depending on um depending on the weather uh, like if it's rainy season or more it's going to take like three days three to four days for it to dry but dry city it takes like two days sometimes a whole day in a day dries up so yeah we're going to allow it to dry and once it's dry we're just going to go ahead to unravel the rollers so that uh, i can go ahead to style the hair some more <laughs> And yeah for styling i'm using this hair cream or uh, this hair serum to style and also going to be adding a little bit of shine and jam to the hair as well so yeah see how luscious and healthy this hair is looking can you guys remember how it was looking before and see how it's looking right now so yeah thank you so much for watching this is the final look this is the final result hope you enjoyed that you're able to learn something new from this video what do you guys think uh, do you like my method do you feel like i omitted a step do you feel like you do or do you do something different you do it differently just let us know in the comment section below don't forget to share the video to friends and family leave a comment in the comment section subscribe if you haven't and give the video a big thumbs up it will actually encourages us to keep filming more videos for you guys and yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video do not forget that we have all products for website so you can go ahead to check all products if you want to if you are interested in getting any of the products you can go ahead to check it on our website and we also sell luxury hair and yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye yes, bad man, bad every day.